All right, welcome back Twitch, welcome back YouTube. Let's get back to just another game, Persona 5 Royale with Le Fromage. I think we're gonna go, I think we're lower with Makoto. I think we should spend more time with Makoto if we have the opportunity. I've identified the student from the red light district. She's the third year, Eko Te Takayo. I'm thinking of speaking her directly about this. Can you sit in on it too? Sleep time. All right. Good night, Rain. Thanks for staying up. I will see you tomorrow. Feel like I can become closer with Makoto. Let's go hang out. Thanks. It feels good to hear that from you. I will call her to the student council room. Wow. Excuse don't me. sit up or anything. Eiko Takeo-san, you've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and he saw, and him saw you there. Based on where you were heading, we assume you were working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. <sighs> so you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yep, yep. The worst I get is some old, weird old guys gawking at me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Oh, I see. But they totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money, plus the guys who come in there, like, mega pamper me. Mega Pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honor student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyway, are you gonna tell on me? You even brought a witness today. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you two are in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? You have the wrong idea. Yes. Right. It's nothing more than an errand I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protector of each other's secrets? Crap, and I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're real badass, Miss Prez. Well, Told you that's uh... not how it is. I was just worried that you were getting wrapped up in some shady business. So I asked him here for support. Whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a Buchimaru-kun pencil case? Hmm? You know Buchimaru-kun? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. But why is this so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchimaru-kun merchandise. OMG, OMG. This is too hilarious! The student council president has an adorable pencil case? My image of you has, like, done a complete 360 today. Isn't that a full circle? I don't know. I'm just real surprised. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, so I guess I just had to get to know you better. Why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Bichimara-kun and your boyfriend. Oh, um... Okay. Wait, he's not my boyfriend. Yet. For some people. And saved! Oh crap, it's this late already? I gotta get to work. I'll send you tons of pics of my Buchimaru-kun collection later, though. Bye-bye! It's gonna be a cute pencil case. <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly, though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot? Beep boop! <laughs> Did I boop? Beep boop? Did we do the beep boop? <laughs> I've done a full 360 and back to my bullshit again. Beep boop! Aww. Don't tease me! Had to go for it. <sighs> you know, I believe what Takao san said about me is how other things is, think as others think as well. I thought I'd changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. I had to go with the beep boop. 
That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. Zero notes. I'm going to try to look at things a little differently from now on. Well? And well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I know you, I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. I can sense a quiet resolve from Makoto. I got, I got zero notes, but I still got the beep boop. Confidant Makoto Nijima, our, the Priestess Arcana Rank 3, Black Belt Talk. If negotiating negotiation with a martial arts using Shadow Fills, you can try again. All right. Your High Priestess Confidant has increased to Rank 3. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the High Priestess Arcana. Makoto can now use Black Belt Talk. These are getting really elaborate. I'd be more interested to speak with Takayo son some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I could correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. Hello, thanks for sitting in with me today. It really did help. I got a message from Takao son earlier. She turned out to be quite a fan of Buchimaru-kun. It was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Buchimaru-kun emoticons. Sounds like you two get along. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't expect to bond over something like this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. But I'm still a little worried about that store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Alright, who wants my fucking time uh, now? You're back. Uh Yeah, I can't do anything about you. Alright. Fuck it. I'm gonna go do the damn burger challenge now that I actually have the chance. Holy shit. <sighs> to the Central Burgatorium! Uh, I'm still... I'm still working on that DVD. Burger. That's full. This is burger. No day or night in space! Let's take the challenge! 500 yen. Yeah. You might be able to gain some guts if you do the challenge. I think you could probably do it as you are now. As you are a second mate, the difficulty of the mission will be increased. The challenge will cost 500 yen. Take the challenge. My poor money. Certainly. Now then, go take a seat and good luck. Really should have Kama Kawakami do some laundry or something. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming again. Please do your best to complete your objective, second mate. Now then. It's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go! Let's. All this meat makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. Let's get our stomach pumped. Now then. I somehow ate the whole thing. Now I'm gonna die. Meat sweats. Oh. You, you've done it again. Congratulations. Congratulations on completing this challenge. Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present to you the first mate badge. And to the burger baron who defeated the challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Are you done with the Velvet Girls? Yeah, I haven't done it by myself, though. Enjoy your new rank as first mate. However, one mission still remains. Please come again. I knew you could do it. You defeated the Gravity Burger this time. You're incredible. You're so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to move anymore. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. To the knowledge. 
to the charm. For some fucking reason, stuffing my face with a greasy burger increases my charm. Wanna head back? All right, let's go. Ding. Mm. Wait, holy shit, there's like nothing. It was just straight to fucking after school. Cosmic burger next time. Plans for today? All right, what are your plans for today? Feeling kind of restless, I'll be in the station for a bit. Sure. All right. We'll just have to wait for now. Oh yeah. I don't think my bond with On will deepen just yet. All right, in that case, no. Oh, that's too bad. In that case, this is a good time to do some work. This is a good time to go where my work actually is. Okay. <laughs> For the fuse requests, will you be using a guide? Um, I haven't so- are you talking like the warden requests? I haven't so far. What do you want to do? Alright, let's work here. Um... Maybe if I'm like really struggling with it, I might. I haven't really thought about it. Oh, yeah. All right, I didn't explain things to you last time. Let's see. Wednesdays and Saturdays are our happy flower days. We offer discounts on bouquets on those days. I'll be having you choose the flowers for the bouquets too. I might even bump up your pay if the customer really likes your arrangement. I appreciate it. All right, we have an order for a bouquet. Please handle it. The customer is looking for large, brightly colored flowers. Pick three that fit that description. Okay. Let's make sure we pick the right flowers. Hmm. The request is for large, brightly colored flowers. I bet light colors or white would work would even work too. Which flower will you pick first? Uh large red flower. Large yellow flower. So, all right, large red flower. Probably red, orange, and yellow. Light yellow flower, a large white flower. Ooh, or we could do red, pink, and white. I like red, pink, and white. Where is it? Large white flower. The fusion requests can be... You basically can go from 1 to 10 in, in New Game Plus for the Wardens. But the fusion requests can be dicey AF at times since why use a guy. Huh. Alright, I'll, I'll think about it. Alright, red, white, and pink. Or do they have a large... Oh, there is. Uh... Yeah, do that. What do you want to do? This order was for large, brightly colored flowers. Is this okay? Should be good. Hey, hey! Fingers crossed. What a relief! They bought the bouquet without any complaints. I guess that's a pretty standard reaction. <laughs> if you want to know about, more about flowers, I suggest you read the Floripedia. Most of the flowers we sell here should be in there, so I'm sure it'll help you if you read it. Here! Well, here's your pay. I guess that was you a little bit great. of a bump. How are you feeling? Hmm. I got double kindness, so I'll take that. Wanna head back? Alright, head home. I think one requires you to use a skill card. Rain, huh? 
I was thinking like I might have to rely on skill cards for a few of them. I shake with desire. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it's Becky, the maid who shakes with desire to see her master. I'll comfort you again today, starting at only 5,000 yen. I'm sure you know, but I didn't get requested tonight. It would be great if you could re request me. All right. Come on over. That's what she said. Yay, you're the best master. I'll be there soon, so wait for me. Thank you for your $50. Hey. So, master... I want to provide more services for you. Oh my. What are you scheming? That would be great. I'm really good at giving massages. Meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how's that? Ugh. The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts. He said he but he said he prioritizes younger women. How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now, see? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? You're like 30 something. That face is so weird. Uh. Sure. <laughs> really? I'm gonna take your word for it. I really wanted to say you needed to love yourself, but. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as a, both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I'll let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Uh, such a terrible maid. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Temperance rank four. All right. Your temperance confidant has increased to rank four. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing personas of the Temperance Arcana. Uh, so. I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. Um. I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up these types of stories. So you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. No, I want to continue seeing my teacher dressed up as a maid. It's very important. Good morning. It's hot again today. Konoshiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. We're fine. As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. If you say so then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, today is Tanabata, the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put, I'll put up bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper, though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, but there's a traditional food associated with Tanabata, just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Do you know the answer? All right, takambagi san Tell me, what is a traditional Tanabata food? I'll give you a hint. It's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. 
Oh yeah, I mean. Hey, wait. All right, help her out. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Counting on you. So Tenabata is about gods crossing a starry sky to reunite once every year. It might have something to do with spaceships. <laughs> oh yeah, they gotta cross the Milky Way to get to each other. So that if the traditional food is something inspired by the Milky Way. Uh, some potato candies? Okay. I don't know what candies are. Uh, soma noodles? Okay. That was my first instinct, but then I thought maybe it was a sweet. Yeah, I could see that. The Milky Way's like a long white bundle of them, right? Yes! The traditional food of Tenabata has got to be soma noodles. This is it. That's correct. The traditional food for Tenabata is soma, no is soma noodles. Originally in China, they ate a baked good that we call the sakube in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, that pronunciation went from sakube to sakumen to soman, a whole different food. <laughs> mm, Japanese food. Going with the theme of calming demons, soman on Tanabata is sometimes called demon guts. Go restore your strength with some seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Oh, Thanks. fuck! Exams! <laughs> Way to ruin the go. mood. Oh, uh, God. I'm actually probably going to get to eat Japanese food real soon because I'm about to go back, uh, start working week after next. Start going back downtown to Seattle twice a day to, or twice a week to work. So I'll get to go to Chinatown. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Greetings, senpai. I was thinking of inviting you out. Do you have time right now? Maybe we can meet up in Kichijoji? Absolutely, go at once. Gotta go see Best Girl whenever she wants. Hello. It's gotten so hot today lately, hasn't it? But I've got a meet coming up, so I can't lose steam now. So if you have some time, would you like to do some stretches with me? Uh, yeah. I don't think it will deepen just yet. But we'll still spend time with her. What do you want to do? Let's hang out. Yes. Go somewhere. Oh, in a ship. Right. Hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, that is... My only option. All right. I love that place. Keep money gone. <sighs> just like I imagined, the view from a boat is amazing. Sorry for dragging you out on one of these. I was just so curious about what it'd be like. Weren't we supposed to do stretches? It's a nice view. It really is. The wind feels great, too. It's so refreshing out here. Oh, I actually have a favor to ask. When we have to leave, can I be the one to row us back? After watching you row us all the way out here, I just got the surge to try it. <laughs> oh, it'll be my first time rowing a boat. I'm so excited. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Well, let's go. Today was so fun. Thank you for taking me out. I'm back. What's on your mind? <sighs> I feel like my bond with Soji will grow stronger soon, but... It looks like there's still a problem with the man who stopped by earlier. Mm. Is the chief worried about something? Looks like we'll have to wait until he settles things. Okay, so apparently I'm not losing time with you, at least. Um... Uh, can't do anything about you. Could do something with Mishima. Just do a quick check everywhere else. We'll probably spend some time with Mishima. It's been a while since we've done that. 
All right, yeah. Mishima it is. He's get uh Sojiro or Mishima. Oh fuck! Hey, let's ask Chihaya, Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Hmm, she's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop on them? Sure. Um. How are you healing? I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but it wow. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. I'm the only one who cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the tarot. O divine power shed light upon her fate. Buy this thing. This? I've seen everything. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. The demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let Yuya throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I could pay it up to 36 installments. Truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right. It would make her jobs way easier if you really could change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chihaya, Chihaya has some fortune telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, why don't we change that Yuya's guy, heart, that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? Meowing? What? Uh, hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. <laughs> There's another solution. There is not. The thing is... You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. I'm not exactly sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Hmm? His full name is Yuya Ichimara. What do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Yes! What do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm going to change fate. I told you so. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. The, Excuse me? Gracious! It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's gonna pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for Holy Stone. <laughs> what? <sighs> you! What do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground? Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible with a she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, this is why you backlog the Mentos requests. Go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. 
I will save her with a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. This is why I... Wait, I don't get it. This is why I backlog mementos requests? Are you saying this is why I should do it, or this is why I end up doing it? Hey! Alright. Thanks to the book on speed re reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. Uh... Kindness... Kindness... Knowledge. Oh, let's finish the library books. Hmm? She always found it in her heart to show mercy to others. Mm. A legendary female pope, huh? Do you think she really existed? Oh. We still got time to read. Let's go a little further. Her sublime soul gave strength to the people. And done. Oh. So, you finished reading the illusory popus. Maybe the people of that era made up the mysterious female pope, but she's still an inspirational figure. Pope Johanna, loved by so many. Reading about her must have taught you about the value of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Point up. More kindness. Also, I think I gained more benefit than usual. Did I always get three notes? I thought it was two. If you had done this request, which I said yes, apparently you had it in our compass packed up until you do the mentos again. Just if you had done this request? Did you? I don't remember. It's not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. I, no, I said that I had talked to her and bought the holy stuff. I don't remember saying I did a request. I got nothing else to do today. For once, holy shit. What would you like? Uh, return a book. Thank you. What would you like? And that should be all the books for the moment. Uh, let's see here. Who's Maruki? I mean, I can't point up with them. I don't remember who Maruki is. Counselor. Oh, thank you. All right, yeah. Let's just jump down to Mementos real quick then. Oh, that means we need to go to Shibuya to the hideout. Shouldn't take long. It's the only request we have. Hey, we're all here. I hope Kaneshiro has a change of heart soon. I'm looking forward to seeing people's reactions. Uh, let's go to Mementos. Hold on. If I remember correctly, we have some intel on a possible target. Okay. View requests. <laughs> Today seems like a perfect day for us to go into Mementos. Let's check our intel. Listen up. This intel is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend. The man named Uchimura has assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be badly hurt if left alone. These fortunes often come true. What a jerk! Fortunes aside, we can't let this guy use violence against her. I don't want her getting hurt. We should change his heart. You can count me in. I agree. It's only natural for us to change the heart of a person like that. Nice! Okay, looks like we're all ready to do this. I already left the calling card at a target's home. No objections, right? Yep. We're good to go if you're okay with it. This is a unanimous decision. Take down the target mementos. Alright. Let's prove that fate can change to the fortune teller by changing the abusive boyfriend's heart. Alright, do mementos. Let's go. Come on, let's go.
So in a min-max run, this request would have been done when I did the others. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, I absolutely, for I absolutely understand that. I just don't remember saying that I ever got this request. I mean, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Uh, but you two, we'll delve into mementos next time. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this all, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.